So I was leaving for work the other day and as I pulled onto the street, I noticed an Optimum cable truck with a cherry picker and with all of the installation going on while we've been locked in our homes, you know, I went up to the guy and asked what he was doing. That also triggered me to look up at the telephone poles and see if there was any new hardware installed and I noticed uh, these new LED street lamps quote, street lamps, unquote, uh, that were hooked up to an awful lot of power. And that specific Optimum truck didn't seem to have anything to do with these newly installed street lamps, but these lights were not here two to three weeks ago. Uh, so my question to you is, while we are all locked inside, while there is a crisis, why is installing LED street lamps considered essential work when they can't even keep grocery store shelves stocked, when you can't even buy toilet paper? Is it essential to have our streets lit up when I can't even go outside? You know, my street's been dark for the past 20 years when I can't see anything. I've, I've lived here for 20 years and the streets have always been dark, yet suddenly when we're in this crisis, they have to light everything up. Let's take a look at these lights. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen a street lamp that looks like that. I do find it funny how they put the word LED on the lamp so that you look at it and go, oh, oh yeah, it's an LED lamp, bro. What are you worried about? It's just a light. And I'll tell you guys right now, if you think these are LED street lamps, I hate to break it to you, but you failed an IQ test. These are military surveillance devices that are also likely weaponry. There's enough power attached to these towers to turn them up to the level of a weapon. They might not be at that level right now, but I've been testing these with my meter and they emit a radio frequency every 10 seconds or so, which means there's an antenna inside. And I was gonna say that, you know, I'd love to take these apart, see what's inside, show you guys the antenna to prove they are not simply street lights, but I don't have to because they already told us this in a news article. Smart LED street lights are equipped with improved internet connectivity and other digital enhancements that will allow municipalities to improve public services such as internet connectivity, transportation, public health and safety. Public health and safety? Moving forward, there are now military weapons on every two telephone poles in every neighborhood to make sure we're staying in our homes. And these weapons can do God knows what else. Portland's Jennings argues that smart city technologies will vastly improve urban quality of life. If only warriors stopped worrying and intervening. The light's intricate digital coding means they will soon fit into Portland's larger smart city plan to equip the growing downtown and beyond with responsive traffic signals, universally available wireless internet, high-speed fiber, and mapping infrastructure for autonomous vehicles. Y you know, I think they missed something in that article. They didn't say that this would turn your brains into Swiss cheese. This is the exact infrastructure they need to take total and complete control of the population. They put up cell towers and antennas in every town that can be turned on instantly and send people to hospitals in droves with respiratory-like symptoms that can be blamed on whatever the media wants to plaster. Now they have these weapons in front of every single house and as soon as you start doing something they don't want you to be doing, police or military will be instantly aware of your whereabouts. There is no hiding anymore. Uh, let's take out my Wi-Fi meter and I'll show you guys that this emits frequencies. So we have right now, see it's pulsing. Uh, about a month ago when I was testing on my street, I wasn't getting any readings going up and down the street except for one spot by a certain house. And now I'm getting pulsing every, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds under these new smart LED lights. Yeah, it's pulsing. And the fact that these are hooked up to some type of Wi-Fi infrastructure means you know, they can turn these on a pretty high frequency and do who knows what. Uh, so I think I'm going to come outside later at night and see uh, what frequency these are pulsing on. And again, these are every two, every two telephone poles. They have these lights on them, which is completely crazy. You know, I don't, I don't get any, any radio wave readings on this until I go under these smart LED lamps. You know, just like they installed the smart meters on everyone's homes, 
to, to read the power because they needed to read your electricity meter from further away, which are dangerous to people. Now they have these smart LED lamps installed every two houses to keep your streets lit up and to make sure you're safe. Yep, here's one. Here's another one that's pulsing. So again, most of the time it is green, it is on a safe level. And then we get a pulse every 20, 30 seconds. And, and, and the point of, of reading these to show that there's a radio wave signal it is to prove that it's not an LED lamp because if this was simply an LED lamp, it would not be emitting radio waves. You know, you might be able to measure the dirty electricity if you plugged something into it to read it, and you might be able to measure the magnetic field of the actual power line itself, but the only thing that would emit a radio wave is something that is being used to get, gather data or to emit a signal uh, to someone. So, uh, this is very scary. You know, honestly, I wish I had enough money to to move out to the middle of nowhere and uh, get away from all this stuff. But, you know, we know they're doing this and people don't seem to care. We know they're putting, you know, the, this is a new thing though. The, these smart LED street lamps, I haven't seen someone talk about this yet. That's why I'm doing a video on it. We know they're installing the Wi-Fi infrastructure secretly in our children's homes. And I'm gonna make a flyer for you guys to hand out. Uh, I'm gonna get someone to put uh, pictures of these street lamps on the flyer and pictures of you know the new Wi-Fi technology on the flyer, and I'm going to hand them out. And uh, if you guys can like let me know like bullet points and just briefly you know some very important things about what people need to know about these devices and why they shouldn't send their children uh, back to school and why they should protest their town and get these street lamps taken down because you know this is a world that no one wants to live in, and uh, right now. Uh, this is the key asset of them taking complete and total control. Uh, the scariest part about this is they can turn these on and the Toyota Corolla can come back. The, the supposed problem that's going on right now in the world, the reason we're all locked in our homes. You know, hospitals are empty. We know it's fake. We know it's not true. But now that they have this infrastructure installed, when that second wave comes by, they can cause that second wave because now they have the infrastructure set up. So, you know, for any of you naysayers saying this stuff, isn't harming people right now, you're absolutely right, because they didn't turn it on yet. They're installing it. They're installing it right now, and they can hit the switch whenever they want to make people feel sick. And it's gonna be later this year, I have a feeling. This winter, this, this uh, December, January, end of 2020 going to 2021, uh, the world is gonna, <laughs> that's when shit's gonna hit the fan. I have a feeling. You know, if something happens and they start taking these down and there's some legislation passed that these things are dangerous, then I'll change my mind. But as long as these devices are here, as long as these towers are set up, as long as this infrastructure is in our towns, there is nothing good that's going to come out of these devices. Absolutely nothing. And there's no reason to have new Wi-Fi infrastructure installed specifically on school buildings unless you're trying to blast children's brains into oblivion. Uh, you know, you, you could justify having these on, on the streets, on the highways, for self-driving vehicles, but the current places that they're putting these things and, and the people that are currently suffering, it makes absolutely zero sense. Zero sense whatsoever. So I'm just gonna drive down the street and go to a corner where there's like two lights unusually close to each other. And I think I'm gonna go to the schools and see if we could see any infrastructure if it's been installed yet. Uh, I don't really care, that's not important because we already know what's happening but uh, it would give me ammunition for my local town to be able to you know send out flyers and information to the parents to let them know that you know their children should not be sent back to school so this makes absolutely zero sense to me why is there a street lamp right here on this corner and then they have one right over here you know to me you know why would you have the led lamps you know why wouldn't you just have this lamp facing me facing the street and have and not have that lamp why do they have two lamps so close together you know, is there a certain like grid infrastructure needed? I don't get it. So I'm here at the school and I was getting high readings and the smart lamps at the school are turned to a higher frequency. So this here proves that they can change the frequency on these devices. Oh my God, my head feels like I just got blasted. I, my, I can't even think straight right now. I'm standing right under this thing and I can literally feel, you know, brain fog. Uh, so they can turn these things on, they can change the frequency of these devices. 
You know, the, the one by me was not turned on at all. This one by the school is turned on to emit a much higher signal at a very high level. So, you know, why would these companies have the ability to change the frequency of these devices so greatly? If they were just doing it for infrastructure, you know, for surveillance, for improved connectivity, wouldn't it be like a stable connection that wasn't just completely frying people? Th th this is bad. This is not good. This is not good. Th this means everything I've been saying is 100% confirmed true. They can fry us whenever they want. They can hit the switch. Here's a Verizon truck right here. There's no one in it. US.385749 Newark, New Jersey. They got the cherry picker on top. I wonder what they're doing. This is pretty sad to think about. Are we the generation, the last one, that can say it was safe to drive on the streets without getting blasted by military technology, without being fried by surveillance devices? Do we have to EMF proof our cars now? Do we have to drive around in metal boxes just so that our government is not completely blasting us with radio wave technology that's impairing our memory, our cognitive function, our ability to think, our ability to focus, be creative, to be healthy, happy human beings. This is you know, one of the saddest realizations that you know, I, I think in any video that I've made, if this isn't you know, hitting you guys the same way, you have to, to really reconsider you know, where your priorities are, you know, are you on the side of mankind or are you on the side of, you know, getting a, a mediocre paycheck because you're a controlled arm of the federal government. You know, the two biggest problems right now are, of course, the government and two, the naiveness of the sheeple. How they won't believe anything, even if it's plastered right in front of their faces. So as I said earlier, the last thing we have to do is, uh, is just come out at night 3, 4, 5 a.m. and see if these are a different frequency. I mean, it doesn't matter because we already know they can change the frequency because of uh, that device by the school was different than the one by me. Uh, but, you know, this will tell us, you know, if we come out at 2 or 3 a.m. and they're, they're higher frequency, that'll tell us that, you know, they are changing all of them right now. Uh, well, you guys can't see me, but I can see my street much better than I ever have in my life because now they have these LED street lamps up. And I don't actually like this one bit at all. I mean, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of nice that the streets are lit up and that you can see, but it's kind of creepy at the same time. You know, you see everything that's going on everywhere. There's no hiding anymore. Well, the frequency on the light is about the same. Uh, I'm not going to drive back over to the school uh, to see what the frequency is on that light. Uh, but we know, we know they can jack these up pretty high and change the frequency. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go over the next uh, over the next few weeks. I'm definitely not a fan. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please spread the word about these new smart LED street lamps going up in your neighborhood, how they're dangerous, and how the town should be sued. Uh, for allowing these devices to go up in front of people's homes. Uh, if you guys want to support me further, you know, of course, you know, check out all the stuff down in the description below. You know, help me further my goals of providing you guys with quality animal foods that are free from our current system. Uh, of course, if you guys could please like the video, you know, subscribe if you haven't so you can be unsubscribed shortly next week and uh, leave a comment down below uh, so Frankie Boy can uh, answer all your questions. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and uh, try to stay positive.